All right, you guys, welcome to MOVE. Um, my name is Steve Feaster, this is Paula Fowle, and we are going to take you through. And Marley. Marley, and this is Miller. Um, I don't think they're gonna last very long with this, but we had to bring them out here. They've been, they've been really good at their social distancing lately. And now they're done with it. All right, let's start off sitting down. They know you're the sucker. All right, let's all start with our legs wide. Down you go, buddy. Thank you. Stay. All right, walk those arms out here. Now it's okay to curve your back a little bit. Start to bring your elbows down. <laughs> Good, Miller. Good. All right, he's out of here. Are you going to behave? Sorry, Marley. Lay down. Elbows down. We're going to hold this for 30. Now I feel this a little bit in my low back. It's okay to have my shoulders slightly rounded. We're gonna fix that in just a second. All right, bring those hands back. Now put them back behind your hips. Sit up nice and tall. One more time. Now, if you can go a little wider, go a little wider. Let's bring them back over again. Watch Paula, she's gonna bring them all the way forward. She's gonna get her elbows down. Now, the separation between our shoulder blades, we call protraction. The problem with protraction is much of our day we stay that way. It's very appropriate when we're doing it in the context of stretching, but it wouldn't be healthy to stay stretched all day long. So we want to stay during our day, we want to stay retracted. All right, come back up again. We're gonna bring our legs in. That's gonna move us from a focus of low back and inner thigh to a focus of low back and hamstrings. Let's do this again. Let's first sit up straight, retract your shoulder blades, squeeze them, push down, depress your shoulders, and lean in a little bit. What we really did just now is we took our, our butt bones and we pushed our butt bones back. It seemed like all we were doing is sitting up straight, but we weren't. We were pushing our ischial tuberosity, our butt bones, we're pushing it back. If these guys are getting too distracting, let me know, we will. It's like the gong show, they just got the, the hook. Aww. All right, now look, now let's fold forward. Now sometimes folding forward can irritate the back, so don't do it a lot. But what I want you to do is realize, is this stretching my low back or is it stretching my hamstrings? For most of us, it's gonna stretch both and that's okay. I think we should take them back inside, honey. <laughs> Bye, guys. Back inside. All right, now watch what I do. I'm gonna sit back up straight. I'm gonna bring my butt to my heels. I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see what I do. One leg is flat, the other leg, I'm just behind my knee, and I'm just gonna push up. Chances are, at some angle, it doesn't have to be straight up, but it's something that most of us can do this. Relax your head. Now pull your toe down. Now that should have got a little bit more stretch behind the knee. Mm -hmm. All right, bend your leg a little bit, climb up a little further. Now, you guys may need to use a towel or a strap. Nothing wrong with this. If you can't grab here, use a towel or a strap. Now look what I do, I bend it, I pull my toe back and I push, I karate chop, I judy kick the ceiling. Now try to lift your low back off the ground. Push down on your butt and your shoulder blades, keep your toe down. Now let your, leg, uh, let your foot relax. Go up a little higher, maybe around your heel, maybe around your toe, and keep that flat. If you can reach it, reach it. Now push straight up, Try to keep the toe down. If you can't do that, you walk back down around your calf, that's perfectly fine. Or, again, you can still use a towel. Ooh, now I'm gonna turn this way again. Now watch what I do. Let's keep this. I want your whole body to go to the side. And I want you to go back the other way. Now you can slightly bend that leg, the one that's across your body, slightly bend it. 
And I want you to work on getting, look at her flexibility. Look at Paula's flexibility. Can you see her arm down to the ground? Start to walk that arm diagonally over your head. Can the wrist still stay down while that foot is still touching? Now, believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so free, he, he. Flying away on a wing in a prayer. How could it be? Okay, seriously though, believe it or not, I'm guarding with my stomach right now. Relax your stomach and allow your spine to turn. I want you to breathe out. I want you to breathe out. Big breath in, big breath out. Now, with every breath you take, every move you make, we already did that one. I'll be watching you. Baby, can't you see? You're in love with me. Make my full heart ache. Every breath you take. Okay. So every breath you take, relax your stomach more and more. Oh, I haven't even started yet. I, I'm about to get uh -huh. I'm a lyrical genius. That's not true. I like it better when he couldn't breathe. All right, don't bring your leg up. Come to a fetal position, not fecal. All right, and roll it back up. All right, the leg we just did is done. Let's grab behind this knee and push up. Now bring that toe down. Oh, you want some fries with that shake? Is anybody else's leg shaking? Uh-huh. You ever seen a little chihuahua poop in the winter? Yeah. They just, they just shake like they're cold, <laughs> but only when they're pooping. So when somebody comes to the door, it's means they're usually pooping. Steve. Sorry. I had a chihuahua. They do not poop that much. All right. Grab behind the calf or get that towel. Relax your foot first. Now, can, don't pull your toe down if you can't raise your low back off the ground. The first thing we need to do is raise our low back, not like this. Your butt should be down, shoulders should be down, and you should be able to raise your low back. Now pull down the toe. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. What? Uh, the right stuff. The right stuff. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, oh, oh. You missed this cue. All right. Right here. Up a little further or grab that toe. This is our last one. But we do want that leg to be straight. Now I can tell on this side, when my leg goes straight, I can't put my butt down. My low back is, is curving. Mm -hmm. But that's okay, maybe it's time for me to go to my towel. Now I can let it out a little bit. So it's not that I'm not flexible, it's just I have short arms. <laughs> All right, so look what I do. I'm gonna extend one leg and timber my whole body rolls. I keep that here and I reach back. I reach around the outside. Around the outside. Around no, the outside. I move, we did that one too. Move my microphone. You know, it's like all my jokes. It's funnier the, the more you do it. Right. All right, so relax that stomach. Remember, the more you relax your stomach, the more rotation you're going to get. Did you hear about that actress? Which actress? The one that got stabbed? Man, I told you the world was going crazy. What Reese, was her name? Reese. What's her name? Reese. Oh, Reese with a spoon? No, it was with a knife. Why'd she get stabbed? <laughs> I don't know that. Reese with a spoon. That's probably one of my favorites ever. And I can't stand that one. Well, the world is... That's why I remember it. <laughs> That's like, oh, I hate that song, but you know every word. Okay, mm -hmm. fetal position. Now, keep your knees in the air. Arms are out like rudders. Keep your knees together. And we're going to go side, not all the way, to side. <laughs> Somebody else's dog is on them. Oh, really? <laughs> is it Suminus? No, I can't tell if it's Jerry or... I can't, I can't see. I'm... We love the dogs. All right, watch what I do. Raise the legs a little bit more. Now, that's going to create more resistance. Right here. Now, extend them straight. Almost touched, let that show. You got the brick all in the way. All in all, it's just a <laughs> another brick in the wall. Ah! One more time. To the right or left. Almost all the way down. And one more time the other way. I should have got that one. <laughs> ah! And relax. Good job, guys. All right. Let's do this. I want you to cross one leg. You can reach through, grab your hamstring, or reach through and grab your knee. Uh, that side's not going to work. There we go. 
and pull this in. Now, my knee on the other side is, is feeling rather beat up, so I'm gonna have to figure something else out. But this is how the stretch goes on this side. You should feel this through your buttocks. Not in your buttocks, but just in and around. Kind of in your buttocks. A little bit in. That's your cheek. You're right. Obviously, not the in your anus, actual butt. Your anal like sphincter. Oh my yeah. God, people help me. Uh, help us all. Now, look, <laughs> let me show you another way to do this. You can relax that leg and just hold your foot. Can you just put the dog back on top of me? <laughs> all right. Stacy wants them back. <laughs> now let's put our feet down. I want you guys that can to crisscross. Crisscross will make you. Zero, zero. All right, reach through and grab. Now, my knee is hurting on this side. So you guys that are having knee issues, it's probably because your sister is mean and talk to your niece behind your back. Oh, stretch. That was terrible. <laughs> it's better than having nephew issues, though. That was terrible. All right. But look what I'm going to do, because I have a niece issue, I'm going to pull this in and up. I'm still trying to stretch my glute without putting too much pressure on my knee. This is for my, my folks like me and Michelle Mutzler and, and some of you guys that have um, some orthopedic concerns. All right, relax that. Go ahead and sit on up. We're still going to try to get in the buttocks. It's been a lifelong thing for me. No, just kidding, just kidding. Oh, I just got the producers just, no, to stretch the glutes the right way. It's like it's one of those things I really want to learn to, because I feel like the glutes could, I'm stopping now. Knee up to the center, up nice and tall. Knee to the center, chest up. So what's really going on? I'm using my femur to twist against my torso. Because my pelvis is tight and rigid, like my in-laws, just kidding, just, you guys aren't tight. You guys are the best, I love you guys. No, he but, has listen, the best in-laws. Really I really, I am fortunate, I am fortunate. Pull this leg in, sit up tall, and I'm using the pressure to stretch my glutes. All right, when we have tight glutes, it, it can affect our low back. All right, can you go ahead and just lean towards the way that foot wants to go down on the ground and put your hand down? Now, reach across and turn. Paul is showing the option. Paul is gonna wrap this foot around, wrap back around. This brings the intensity up a little bit. What she just did was she blocked the shin even further as she's rotating this way. So you're going to notice by doing this, it contorted this even more, gave her more rotation. And then sit up tall. Wonderful. The way she's going to unwrap is let pressure off of the leg first. Lean away, unwrap. So let's do it the other direction now. Let's bring this leg up. First thing you want to do is pull in and tight. As we do this, the muscles should want to relax, which means as you do this, you continue to pull in even tighter and reset, and that's with every breath. Every breath, we pull in a little harder. All right. Bring this foot over as far as you can. Reach back, block the leg, and turn. If that feels okay to you, Paula's already done it. She's unwrapped, you lean away, Wrap the foot, and again, I don't think my knee, well, I can get to here. If it hurts your knee, guys, go back to that other stretch. Sit up nice and tall. Hey, um, some of you guys might have taped the gloves off this week on your eating. I know I did. I was preaching it to hang in there, and I did. I mean, seriously, 23 hours a day, I was on it. <laughs> You'd be surprised the damage I can do in one hour of feeling sorry for myself. One hour of feeling sorry, relax, for myself. <clears throat> and feeling like, oh, I, I can catch up tomorrow. I'm, I'm doing grit with you guys. I'll just burn it off in the morning. And feeling like that is a good idea, that was wrong. That, that was, you wake up the next morning, 
with the, that, that not so good feeling in your gut, not just the way the food felt, but actually that, that guilty like, what was I doing? All right, one arm in front. So, veggie chips and hummus. Around. Not really, on the diet. Push away and up. So, where Bonnie and I blew it big time was bringing that crap into the house to begin with. Thinking, <laughs> well, and here's what happens, you're at the store and you have good intentions, you know? Hey, we'll just have a few of these tonight. We'll just put it in a little paper bowl. Relax, now watch what I do. The arm that's on, on top, I let go straight. This one I bring around. All right, so at the time we did it, we had good intentions and I had all the willpower in the world. <clears throat> and I probably wasn't relaxed, wasn't as stressed out. Other arm, so this arm was on top. Put that one out of the way, hold the other one up. Mary Silva, I want you to do this with me. Just kidding. Yeah, she's like. <laughs> she's chopping. Oh, she's chopping. Oh, oh, oh. I can see it chopping. All right. Yeah. Wrap it around this way. That's how I found her. It's the one that was moving the most. Push well. it out. <laughs> <laughs> Push away and up. We're trying to stretch the deltoids. So anyway, when we bought the snacks, we had good intentions but by the, and good willpower. All right, here and around. The reason I do this sitting is so that my hips can't move with me. So I can continue to stretch. I look all the way to Paula, and I feel this in my rhomboids. Guys, look, at, I know you're twisting, but look at your camera real quick. We'll look at your TV. Here, through the shoulder blades, and all the way around. All right. All right, guys, let's all stand up. Do you have a wall or something you can use? I want your arm bent 90 degrees, and I want your feet straight. Come in a little closer so that you're standing straight with your arm bent, feet together, over the top and on that hand. And look, Paula is kind of, um, go the other way at first. She's here. Now she's going to twist and she keeps this hand. Now mash that hand against the wall as you twist. And watch this, watch this, watch this. Boom, boom, boom. Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> boom, boom. Bing, bing, bing. It gets tighter as I turn. And how would you do this if they don't have a wall? If you don't have a wall, you guys stay with her. I'll show you the setup here. I'm going to come here. My legs are shoulder width apart here. And I high five the man upstairs. You the man. Not sure what you're doing right now. <laughs> and we're going to have a little talk tonight. But I love you, man. I love you too. You idiot. Just pay attention to what I'm doing. I am, but I feel like I'm at the end of my rope. I've got you, man. You just hang in there. Are you? Okay, sorry. <laughs> my brain. Okay, other side. All right, here, if you have a wall, it's better. You set up here, over the top, turn up. If you're doing it with me, we reach over, hand here to support, hand on your, and then we high five the sky. There is no part of me that doesn't think that God's got this under control. 23 hours a day. In that other one hour, there's granola, Nutella, and veggie sticks. <laughs> and relax. Oh, what is it with us, man? We can have so much faith, and then boom, we start to feel sorry for ourselves, and we give in, guys. Don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. We've got this. We've got this together as a community. I think it's good stuff. I want to go back this way now with the arms straight. It does take all of us together to encourage one another. Otherwise, it is easy to feel sorry for yourself. Now our arm is straight, and we are over the top. Now push away and try to turn. You're not gonna get quite as far, right? Push away and start to turn up under the arm. Now, make sure both legs are locked and push your hips out. That's it. And relax. Other way. Now, if you're doing the other stretch without the wall, you're gonna have to continue just doing the same thing. Arm is straight, body is straight, kick the hips out. Start here, walk the hand back, Try to press it. Now, as you do, you extend the bottom arm as you turn. And you should be feeling it. Oh, God. Awesome. Takes a breath away. <sighs> and relax. All right, legs wide. We're going to hinge at the hips. Come down. Arms down. Good? 
Now, bring your heels in and crouch down, bringing your chest and hips down together. Keep your arms bent, but extend your legs. Do you guys ever learn how to do a, a handstand as a kid? You'd be here and they make you put your head down. That's what we want to do. We want to kind of bring your head down. All right, relax. Walk your feet out even further. You, your hands can be up a little bit. Now start to walk back and bring your chest down again. Now try to lock your legs up. Now, go ahead, push out on your knees and bend. So watch what I do, guys. I bend my butt down, chest down. Inner thigh, I'm hoping to get your inner thigh. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're at your limit, I want you to extend your left leg and lean to your right. Simon says extend your right leg and lean to your left. And I'm not sure what Zoom does this uh, for left and right. It may look like I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm saying that because I'm doing it wrong and I'm getting blame it on Zoom. And relax. All right. Now what should we do? My weight is on my hands. I'm going to get on my heels and I'm going to inch out. Ooh. So I'm almost in a split. Ow. But look, my weight is here. Try to bring your toes in the air. And look, I keep walking. Now be careful with this because once you get to a certain spot, you're not going to be able to get back up. Don't be in socks on your tile. <laughs> That's true. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Push with one hand. Bring up that foot. Push with the other. Bring in that foot. But don't go up yet. Just get to where you have your weight back on your feet. Hands back in front. Heel, toe, extend. You've done this one with me before. Bend. Heel, toe, extend. This is when I want to bring Bonnie on camera and show you her flexibility. They can see me. I'm not flexible at all. Heel, toe. <laughs> Extend. All right. Now, you guys should turn your cameras behind by your butt so you can look through and see me, but walk all the way through. Oh my gosh. Can you bring your hands past your legs? You know, depending on what kind of milk you like, you could bring your hands past your eyes. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh, bad. Bad. Past your eyes. <laughs> That's true. Now, you may think your legs are locked, but are they? Lock them. Chest down. All right, hands back in front of you. Slowly walk back into plank. Chaturanga down and all the way down. All the way down and push up. Woo! Now, depending on your low back, this may be where you want to stop. You see my shoulders around my ears? Ooh, that's good, buddy. Push your shoulders down as you push your hips in. Tummy tight. I'm pushing my hips in. I'm trying to get some flexibility through my low back. I'm going to bring it down one more time. You know, it occurs to me um, <coughs> what I'm responsible for during this time, pushing on up, is is showing you guys what I know. I, 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 man, way too long. It took me like 15 years of college to learn what I can teach you guys that other people learn in a weekend, but I got it down. It took me a long time, but I feel like I'm responsible to bring you guys fun workouts and maybe keep your mind off of things and keep you in shape mentally. But the whole reason, relax, that's it. The whole reason that I feel called to do that is because you guys have an even more important job. What do you need to be in shape for? I'm, I'm kind of behind the scenes. I'm kind of here to help you guys to stay in shape because my job is to keep you in shape because your job is probably to do something even far more important that you can't do unless you're in shape. So in a lot of ways, I want to do my part, but you guys have something, some part you're supposed to be doing too, and you may feel like that calling, that ministry, that purpose has been taken away from you for right now, but it hasn't. You've got to figure it out. Um, we're figuring out this online thing so that I at least feel like I have purpose and, and that I can give you some things that I have. As limited as my knowledge is, I still want to share it with you guys because I feel like that's what I'm called to do. And if I do my job right, then you guys can keep this world moving. And that's far more important than just keeping somebody in shape. But I do know you need to stay in shape 
if you want to fulfill your purpose for this time. So you guys, bankers, grocers, moms, dads, truck drivers, whatever, whatever it is we're supposed to be doing, I promise you there's a way to fulfill that calling and that purpose even right now. But for that to happen, you need to stay mentally in shape, nutritionally in shape, you know, physiologically in shape, and you've got to stay in shape and shape. And that's what Paul, our Bonnie, and I, the rest of the coaches at, at Lyft, um, even the Lyft staff that, that are trying to work remotely as, as good as possible, so that you guys don't have to worry about that, so that you can do what you're supposed to be doing. So let's rely on each other for everybody to do their part, but remember, there is a part you're supposed to be playing right now. Let's stay in shape so that we can fulfill that purpose, all right? Great, great, man. Grit 31 is nasty. Uh, we're gonna hit it again next Saturday. It is not one of those, the, the first 30 minutes we did, it isn't one of those workouts that when you're done, you're like, oh, I crushed that. There is more levels that you can do. There, there is, you can jump higher, you can go faster, you can complete more of the ladders. So it's limitless, but at the same time, don't feel defeated. The fact that you showed up today on a Saturday in amongst what, this contagion, Guys, you guys are rocking it out, man. Fantastic. All right, well, on behalf of Lyft and Lyft staff and, and, and me, Bonnie and Paula, we thank you guys. We're honored that you brought us into your houses, living rooms, and backyards today. Connect is next. And uh, connect is next. And it's just going to be more of, of, I'll go over about another five minutes of what I was just talking about because that's really on my heart this morning.